First John chapter 2, verses 1 through 17. Let's pray. Father, we ask you to bless us today, keep us today, and guide us today. I pray by your word and your Holy Spirit. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith, let's read that again, but whose, verse 5, but whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye have heard from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you. Because the darkness is past, and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light, and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of God, excuse me, verse 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Father, we thank you for this day. We ask you to bless this word to our bodies. We want to be we want to abide forever with you, Lord, in heaven. We want to go with you in the rapture. Lord, we want to be obedient to you in all things. And Lord, we want to obey your word to the every jot and every tittle, just like you fulfilled the law. Lord, we just help us to be your people in this time for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.